So, I was playing Law Mage Academy for a future video, and suddenly I got a notification. Turns out I luckily got 1 out of the 300 alpha keys for an indie game I've been keeping an eye on. And initially, I wasn't really planning to make a video on it because it's a demo and I was very busy, but oh, I played it, and now I need to talk about it. Revita is a roguelite shooter platformer by Benstar, and I should make it very clear that it's an alpha demo, so points I might make could be outdated in later releases, and there's a small amount of content, so keep that in mind throughout this video. After gawking at this beautiful title screen, hitting play takes you straight into the first area. As soon as you get off the train at the Gazing Grove, the game begins. You play as this nameless blue-haired dude, rocking a sick scarf and equipped with a glowing gun. The goal is to shoot your way through randomly generated floors, collect upgrades, and fight a boss to get to the next area. The gameplay is very simple at first, but my favourite part about it is how there's actually quite a lot of depth once you start to experiment with the controls. Movement feels incredibly smooth as you're able to chain together different options to zip around the room, jump over an enemy, dash towards a wall, and fire away while spamming wall jumps to stay safe. It feels great to pull all of this stuff off. To progress to the next floor, you need to destroy all of the enemies in the room with the pistol. Unlike normal guns, this one is short-ranged, as the bullet disappears after a set distance. This forces you to take advantage of the variety of movement options to get close enough to hit them, but also far enough to not take damage. Mix that with having to dodge bullets, and you've got a game where you're constantly moving around. Blasting enemies quickly helps to build up the combo meter shown in the top right. It pauses when there's no enemies on screen, so you only lose your combo if you screw up by being too slow. Reaching higher combos will multiply the amount of souls enemies drop, and they fill up a meter which allows you to heal yourself. That's great, because you're going to need all of the health you can get, but not because the game is particularly hard, but because health is also the main currency. By finding keys dropped by enemies, you can unlock doors to shops or treasure rooms. In both places, hearts are spent to buy or open chests for generally useful upgrades. Choosing between health or items is interesting because you definitely want more stuff to increase your stats, but obviously with lower health, there's less room for error. These upgrades are called relics. They modify your stats or mix up how your gun works in a multitude of interesting ways. Splitting bullets, bullet drop, or projectile deleting bullets. This one's definitely balanced, it really shouldn't be this good, oh my god. Like most good roguelites, combining these upgrades is extremely fun, and some are outright silly, which keeps each run feeling fresh, even though it's just a demo. The reason why Revita just works is because how all parts of the gameplay pushes you towards playing actively and aggressively. There's never a dull moment. You're moving fast to safely destroy enemies as quickly as possible, to then build up a combo to get tons of souls, and if you get hit doing that, then no worries, just heal up. And if you don't, then great, you can safely buy more relics, and then if you're confident, then you could buy tons of relics whilst playing with only half a heart. Which, trust me, is terrifying since one hit means failure, but man, is it fun to do. There's one boss fight in the game currently, and it's pretty decent, honestly. It has well-telegraphed attacks that are fun to dodge, but I found it incredibly easy. With good positioning, you're able to stand still and just fire away, but for a first boss, fair enough. I'll probably have to wait for more bosses before I can really judge them, but it does far more right than wrong, so I'm at least excited to see what future fights will be like. The demo keeps each run about, like, six minutes long, since it ends after clearing the set of floors. Despite the lack of content, there's already a few reasons to keep playing. Mastering the controls to pull off cool tricks, like using the gun's mid-air knockback to extend your airtime, or even pulling off a bigger jump with good timing. This was really cool to find out, and it opened up a lot of new possibilities, like getting to the elevator a bit faster, or combining it with a dash to go really far. After runs, you're sent back to the metro station. In this place, you can immediately start a new run by skipping a bunch of the animations, speak to some interesting NPCs, the best part, pet a cute cat, or unlock new relics. By speaking to this scary looking imprisoned dude, you can spend coins to unlock new items to take advantage of. The total amount of souls collected during a run are converted into coins after dying, giving you another reason to collect tons of them. One thing that I thought was odd at first was how you don't even know anything about the relics other than the name before you buy them. In fact, I 
can't even read what it does at the hub. And then I realized you start your next run with those relics, so you can actually read what it does then. I was going to complain about that, but what actually ended up happening is that I would buy something, say, I'm just going to quickly see what it does, and then I'd end up doing a full run. And then I'd go back to the hub, unlock new relics, and the cycle would continue. I ended up really appreciating the way that relic unlocks work after realizing it's partly why I was hooked for a few hours. Another thing it absolutely nails is the presentation. The mix of modern effects like lighting and detailed pixel art makes the game look fantastic. The character is well animated, the hub is well designed with small details that say a lot about the world and characters entirely through the visuals. There isn't really a story yet, but I'm already interested in learning about this place. Also, I cannot get over this background with a floating clock tower and the moonlight flooding in. It looks so cool. The music and sound effects really elevate the game from great to stellar as it helps to set the mood of the game. There is the metro station, which has this melodramatic song, and when you go outside, you can hear the pouring rain. As soon as I noticed that, I decided I just wanted to stand there to take in the atmosphere. During runs, the music kicks into a more energetic bop that fits perfectly with the fast gameplay. The sound effect for destroying enemies is incredibly satisfying as well. There's just something about that sound that's just right, and in a game where you're blasting tons of enemies, that's something that's really important to have. I've realized I've spent this entire video gushing about it, but Revita's demo has left me incredibly impressed. I was just surprised about how much I ended up enjoying it. There's a shocking amount of polish for an alpha build, and a lot of thought was clearly put into the gameplay. I really can't wait for future updates, and especially the final release. This is absolutely worth keeping an eye on.